An old man sits on a bench in a park, seeking peace, tranquility and calm. Today I am excited to show you all how to make a miniature diorama in a jar. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is going to make a really nice handmade gift as well as a home decor piece and we're going to be using a mixture of mediums. You can make this a year-round decor piece but as it's autumn at the moment I'm going to make this into an autumn miniature scene. So I'm going to be using autumn colours. So we're going to start off by creating a base. So you're going to need some clay and if you can find some in the earth colour that's even better. So take your mason jar and some clay and all you're going to do is cover the base of your mason jar. So I have filled my jar with clay and just to smooth it out you can take some water and even out the surface and just get rid of all of those cracks. And once you put your clay in you might get some smudges on your jar so this is the time to take a nice wet wipe and make sure everything is clean inside. Next you're going to take some mud pudge as well as this turf and I got this from Javis, I got it from eBay though and this is the shade that I've got but it doesn't matter what the shade is because we're going to paint over it. Especially for this piece as I mentioned I'm going to be using four colours so I will be painting over this but you can choose to leave it green. I'm using one of these sponges just to put a layer of Mod Podge on our clay. And now I'm going to take my wet wipe again just to get rid of all of the glue that's come up on the side. I'm opening up my packet and all we're going to do is sprinkle it all over the glue just to cover the entire base. By the way this stuff really isn't expensive and a little goes a long way so it really does last quite a long time. And it just comes in really handy for lots of miniature scenery and things like that. So this is definitely a product that I recommend. So these are the colours I'm going to be using to paint the grass. Just again to make it more autumny. So again I'm going to be using this sponge brush. And you're going to take a small amount of paint. Just put that on there like that and go ahead and just stamp some colour onto the grass. So I'm just going to keep doing that, give it a mix of autumn colours using the paint and the sponge brush and then just lightly dabbing that all over the grass just to give it a mix of colours and it makes it look really beautiful. And this is also a tip of mine because these come in different colours. So if you want to save some money, you just need to buy one pack and then you can add paint to it like this using the dabbing motion of this sponge brush. And that way you can get any colour that you want without having to pay for more. So you can see it's looking quite realistic now and that's really the effect that you want to go for. And to create your miniature trees, you're going to need two things. The first being a cocoa liner and the second being a twig. So of course this is way too long. I'm going to just snap this where I need. I think this is the length that I'm going to go for. So you're going to cut several pieces from this cocoa liner and make sure that you have them in various sizes as well. So we're going to start off with bigger pieces and then as we go up the tree you're going to get them smaller in size. So I'm starting with the biggest piece here and what you're going to do is peel away so that you create a layer from your cocoa liner. And then just open it up a bit so it's looser. So you're going to end up with something like this. And if you want to add colour to your tree, you can just take a sponge brush again and dab whatever colour you want on here. You're going to take your twig and apply some hot glue. And then take your biggest liner and just put that down all the way where the hot glue is. I know it doesn't look like anything at the moment. 
but I promise you it will look more like a tree when we finish. So again I'm going to take some hot glue, just put that all around the twig, take another one of my liners, put it down all the way and so you're just going to keep doing that, apply a bit of hot glue, take a liner and of course it's going to get smaller as you go along so I'm taking a bigger piece there just stick it where the hot glue is so you can see it really is starting to look like a tree now you've just got one final step you're going to neaten all of this up so just give it a trim and don't worry if it's not too tidy because it is a tree after all so the more natural the better and there you go isn't that amazing you've made a miniature tree just from a twig and a coconut liner so if you have enjoyed this tip of mine make sure that you do share this video with others give it a like and make sure that you are subscribed for more content like this and now i'm going to be showing you another tip of mine on how to create artificial water for a miniature world in a jar so I'm taking this stick here and all you're going to do is create a groove in your clay. So just like this you're going to have made some space for your water feature. And this here is what we're going to be using as our secret water. This is really cheap, I actually got this from Poundland and you can find these sort of products in the dollar stores. So of course you're going to want a blue hair gel, but all you're going to do is squeeze the blue hair gel inside this area here or the area that you've created for your water. So this is how it looks at the moment and you're going to just neaten that out with the stick that you used before. Now you're going to take your little miniature figurines, anything that you've got or you can buy these that I've got, they are really cheap, I get them from China. And we're going to hot glue this little guy onto the bench. And then we're going to take him and place him wherever you like and just push it into the clay so that it's nice and stable and finally take your tree and place that wherever you like again just push into the clay and then just close your jar and you've got yourself a miniature world in a jar and here's the finished DIY I hope that you have enjoyed learning from this tutorial and now you know how to make your very own miniature scene including artificial grass artificial water and a miniature tree. If you have enjoyed my tips, tricks and secrets, make sure you do share this video with others, leave me a thumbs up and a comment and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video, take care of yourselves, thank you so much for watching, bye!